London. At the end of the last war, this city had a massive housing problem. One solution was to move a large part of the population out into newly created communities where they could live, work and play in healthy surroundings. This is how our town of Basildon in Essex was born. Mist descends. On another day in his ends, it taught us boys to be men. And by design or choice, we refused to let go. I couldn't cut the umbilical of this town. Not when, like a loving mother, these streets took my hand, the tarmac raised me up, the lights lit the way, road signs provided advice, and the path, it carries me home. Well, calm down, everyone, Dagenham. Yeah. Got a house? Yeah. yeah. We've gone somewhere. We're at least we've got somewhere we can call an house. John Yorkie Bell and his wife Jessie, the first wave of trailblazers into the new town. Did you feel like the world was your oyster? Did you feel like? You felt like you, you were the king. Did it? Yeah. Felt like you were the king. You never had that feeling before. I see. You know, you've got your own place. You can go in any time you want. You could kick a window in and break a door down and do what you want. It's yours. It's, it's a feeling they never had. You're going to show me a machine gun? You're not going to show me a machine gun, are you? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Come on. That. 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 Because you used to call me the wild man. The wild man, they used to call you the wild man? Yeah. And I used to have the horse and everything, right? So it really was a sort of a new frontier, yeah, right? The, yeah, like the Wild West. Yeah, it was. Maybe there's a lick of paint behind the bar, or if you change the staff, but these actors, they're in freeze frame. We're like a movie still. We're like a record on repeat. Oh, this is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Moss, you know I'm having an interview. Marin's worked here from the day it opened. Yeah. It used to be a bingo hall. If Basildon was the frontier, Joe Lazarus was Billy the Kid. No, I'll come out, right. And he's a big, he's like this, right. And I went, bang, 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 right. A man who, when he calls you, George. you come. Georgie Smith. I'm very nice towards you, and I. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and for the men he calls over, promised land became broken promise. Do you remember the sense of Basildon when you first came down here? That kind of sense of opportunity and. Yeah, it's in war off. It was always on. The Cypress estate in London. Yeah. yeah. And I couldn't get out of it quick enough. Is that right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You have to excuse me, my dad's waiting for me. Right, well, they call it, they, they used to call it Alcatraz, didn't they? <laughs> Keith, how would you class Basil? Come here one second. The pioneers all grown up, okay. looking for a new frontier. Brexit. Because there's a lot of people who don't like the way things have changed. What change? Well, just the way things are and the way people act to other people, how things aren't maintained properly. The whole thing just seems to be crumbling. Is that right? So as well as well as sort of as well as infrastructure crumbling in a sense that like people's relationships to each other are cr is, is crumbling in some way. Hmm. Yes. Definitely. Yes, I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Again and again, a feeling that some sort of order needed to be restored, or at least some sort of identity. I'm gonna smash the rigs up, yes. On these streets, a sense that if you're trying to reassert who you are, leaving the EU, a chance at least to say something about who you're not. During the 80s, that gnawing sense of alienation went out and bought a synthesizer. Depeche Mode, Vince Clark, Robert Marlowe. 
think the problem with Basildon and us growing up in Basildon was identity. People were all lumped together without a shared cultural identity. Um, but but that, you, you were celebrating that though at the same time. I think so, I think that's it. I think that's what we, that, what came out of that was a celebration of being new, being young, being um, kind of out there, a bit, a, a bit alienated. Down the crane Friday night, though. He's stuck for work, Alienation. Identity. that one. I'm a Basildonian. I'm raised here. Beautiful. Opportunities. Because when, when you say that, when you say I'm a Basildonian, you were making a point of that, weren't you? Yeah, man. I'm proud that's of like, that's pro That's pride yeah. in that, yeah? yeah? It was hard to be a black in this town because my mum and dad from the Caribbean, you know what I mean? They went from, come from London, brought us down there thinking we have a better life now. We're gutted they moved in from London. <laughs> no, it, did, it did change your life then. It, changed, what, it, it changed my life. I had the choices. I've got, I've got, mum brought me here to have got more options. Options though. and have a, a good life here. People yeah. take it off, but it is, it is a lovely place. Here you're free, you can be an individual. Sand system banger hang about in the car park after dark, rust subwoofer and a dash of burnt petroleum. Only the best for the girls of our towns whose Lancelot's noble steeds are Ford Fiestas, MP3s, Mackie D's and KFC and courting begins on black back seats and that ain't pretty. From the Newtown founding fathers then through to Brexit, themes of freedom, frontier, identity. Down the generations to the festival leisure car park. I didn't know any of these before I was on the car scene. Yeah. Any of them. And no, I know she's my best mate. <laughs> you love it's it. Like, they're like family more, don't we? We, we are family. Each other family. Are. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. As we were talking to the older generation yesterday, there was promise. Yeah. Does that promise still exist? No. Will you stay here though, I mean? What, stay in Basel? Yeah. The yeah, other never leave. Why? Dunno, it's just what all I've known really, isn't it? Like, Is it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's about it. Like, Basildon. Post Brexit Basildon identity, one for the prophets. One for the poets. Like Olmo Lazarus. Born and bred Basil. And it ain't grand, but we make a stand, we make a claim for a patch of land. And this grimy corner of English soil, voice disfigurements and ignorance embroiled, is essentially my home. And although it may never grow and I may never go, a part of my heart's blood will always flow. Towards these ends that taught boys to be men. Or rather, taught us guys to wear ties and pretend to be men. I shut up.